Hey guys, Chris here at PTT 120. Um, not a lot of model making happening this week because it's so blooming cold. Uh, nothing's going off. So we're going to have a little chat instead. A little chat um, about um, the future. Well, not the future. Not the crystal ball. About um, what Hornby are rolling out for us over the next maybe year or two or what we might expect in April. Now, there's a lot of people on the forums and Facebook pages who are pontificating about what they would like to see, what they hope to see, what they want to see, which is brilliant because we're all passionate about what we want, you know, whether that's a Brighton Bell or whether that's, you know, the tiny little shunter or, 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 or you know, hush hush or whatever it is, or DMUs, you know, uh, or Zoomers, or Euro Tunnel, um, which one, uh, 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 Euro Channel, um, what is it called? Euro Stars. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Um, and that's great, but it kind of goes around and around in circles a bit. And so I'm trying to, for my own benefit, really, as much as yours, trying to get my head around how Hornby are laying out their plans, which is a little bit hard to sort of pinpoint because some of the Sometimes it, it seems like it's quite obvious to understand, and other times it kind of blurs a bit. So I thought, well, let's have a little chat about it, um, because obviously long gone are the days when all we got was a catalogue, and the shop man said, well, what does it say in the catalogue? You know. But actually thinking about that, that's maybe not such a bad idea. So this is the catalogue. Uh, this was edition two. Um, I never saw the edition one. Did anybody see the edition one? Please put a comment below if you have, or if you want to sell one to me. Um, this has actually got quite a lot of information, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to work out what they mean by their terms. So I thought, let's clarify some, try and clarify some of the terms that they use, and then, then, then maybe have a little talk about, or make some assumptions, stick my head above the parapet, <clears throat> And then you can all shoot it off in April, okay? When uh, Hornby turn up with a whole different range. All right, so let's start off with um, the months, okay? Or the seasons, all right? Now, a lot of us have grown up with the idea or we're used to the idea. And, fair, and to be honest, even in retail, used to the idea of what's it called? It's called the, the, the metrological calendar. Uh, where we've, in the UK at least, have split up uh, winter to be in December, January, February, uh, spring to be March, April, May, summer to be uh, June, July, August, and autumn to be um, September, October, November. Now, they don't quite do that, or Hornby hasn't, but the Hornby have used that on their double O and their magazine. But with TT, Maybe because they feel like they needed to sort of stretch it a little bit, they've decided, it seems, uh, to have picked the astronomical calendar. Now, that invariably lands around, or the start of each season is considered the start of each one of the equinoxes, which is invariably round about the 20th or to the 22nd of December, uh, the 20th or 22nd of March, and then you've got... Uh, uh, then the then uh, then then June and then what's that then July or it? and then September okay so you've almost shifted a whole month and of course w when Hornby have been releasing some of this stuff or it's available to be bought or some of the, or the magazines come out it ends up being almost in that last week you know almost on the date of the, like the twenty second of December. Or, you know. Um, so, although that's not strictly true for everything, but that's when we're looking at things like it says spring 2024, don't expect to be picking up whatever is available currently on the website, um, uh, on the first day of, uh, of March. It's not going to happen, right? It, it's not even going to happen on the first day of the astrological calendar of the 22nd of March. It's going to happen, uh, April, May, 22nd of June is <laughs> most likely when those things will be possibly available and it will still be within spring of 2024. So that's kind of what they've shit done with their, um, with, with how 
on the website where it says available from that's i think what they're what they're doing with it seems a bit silly to me because there's enough people you know <clears throat> you have one out of a hundred people who say well, it makes sense to me but everybody else going that just why don't you just call it the next season not putting anybody off if anything it's just frustrating people but it's hornby's choice not mine anyway um the next thing is the eras now um the catalogue and we're going to go through this um talks about the eras and it will labels up various images and bits of information in uh, with the era in front of it but i think we can let's say era one which came out with these two lovely sets the eastern and the scotsman cracking sets the pair of them um they were the uh the dcc ready ones where you had to buy your own decoder uh, and then later on, we had the ones that, where they already had the decoders in them, uh, and there was also some locos. Uh, um, some of the some of the Pacifics came out also along in the what we would I guess class era one, uh, and maybe the era one. No one defined when era one finished. Not era one. What's an era? Phase. Phase. Do we start again? No. Let's carry on. You know what I mean. All we are talking about phases, phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four in this catalog and on their social media. And these are phase one, and we all assume, I guess, phase one's finished now. Uh, there was no, no declaration that, 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 that phase one's finished, but we've got the sets, we've got a bunch of locos, and we're well into what was then listed in here as phase two. Um, now, I'm loosely trying to define what they've done in here in this catalogue as things that have labels if we turn to page five let's start with the train sets shall we let's start with the train sets now um it says phase one hornby t2120 train sets but then down here it says the shape of things to come t2120 phase two and three um set releases now where they've got in gray a name and also in yellow, they've got a number beside it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that still must be part of phase two um, because there's one here that doesn't have a number, hasn't, hasn't got an allocated number, and the information on it is really quite loose. The mainline express electric train set. Um, so let, I'm assuming that's phase three. Um, so further on the catalogue, you will find lots more of these phase three type labels where we have the name in a grey block but no yellow product code and then we'll have more text with more lists of uh, locos and rolling stock and i can only assume that's phase four how that pans out this year because you know we've come april will be in a year and a half i'm assuming the phase three stuff will be the stuff that gets available for pre-order that will be in the new catalog in april that that would make sense to me and then the, the phase four stuff, which will most likely have changed because of feedback from us, from this community, um, there'll be a new list of what's, what the next slot's going to be, I presume, the following year. Let's see. You know. <laughs> um, but while we're at it, we can have a little kind of, we can have a little, um, uh, I don't know, my prediction for what these actually are, because they're a little bit loose. So the British Pullman, so TT1003, the British Pullman Electric Train Set, Era 3. Now, there are lots of, lots of people who've got different ideas, but the only thing that makes sense to me is a Duchess class in the red LMS with the Pullman uh, that you've got with the Flying Scotsman, with, with the Scotsman set, these, but painted in the it Crimson Lake, the red. Um, which they had pre-war, um, that would be a cracking-looking set, and it would be juxtaposed to the, you know, you've got an L and the R set, you've got a BR set, why not have an LMS set? It makes complete sense to me. So I'm putting my money on the British Pullman electric train set of Era 3 not being, as some have suggested, it might be a, uh, a printing error. I don't think it is at all. I think it's a Duchess class. Um, Possibly Southampton. I don't know. Do they have? I can't remember the names of them. Anyway, um, 
with some nice red pawmans because then they don't have to change any molds. They're just talking about paint and print, aren't they? That's what makes sense to me. Talking of paint and print, it makes also sense that TT100M, the LNER East Coast Mainline HST electric train set, um, is going to be uh, obviously a class 43 in the LNER um, uh, paint job. Now, is it going to be the red one with the black flash on the side? I presume so. I prefer the East Coast Mainline grey, but that's not specifically LNER, is it? And this does specifically say LNER. So I think it's this one. Because um, that's the new one they do in um, uh, in double O. Um, that's the double O picture. Um, now, so what's this phase three one? Well, that says a mainline express electric train set, era seven. Well, in my mind, it's got to be class 50 in blue with a BR, big BR logo with three um, um, blue, bluey grey, Mark II. Ease. Job done. Cracking set. I'd buy it. That's my prediction. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all the stuff that we've already seen, bought, most of us have bought, or what's on the website. Not a lot of point in that, except that the fact that when it comes to the locos, obviously we still haven't seen these LMS locos or these, you know, these uh, the, the Duchess class ones. And I'm chomping at a bit the... the it keeps getting moved and we can only assume or well, some people are assuming that it's been moved because they were selling so many of these sets that they've had to move manufacturing blocks and maybe that is uh the, the reason for it but i've noticed when we look at the if you look at the show footage from people who have looked more closely at the prototypes and the conversations that have been on on the uh is it beyond the buffers no it's not beyond the buffers it's what's the is it beyond the buffers or the Hornby making the Hornby um, uh, podcasting um, with a they've gone with a metal body, which suggests making the body heavier so that they can release more space inside them, maybe so that they can improve things like hopefully front bogey so we can um, um, shunt backwards and forwards with them. Uh, and plus also maybe some more space so that they can put uh, a decoder in them and sound and maybe a, a stay alive as well. Who knows? Who knows? But the metal, certainly the cast um, boiler, sounds like a really cracking idea. Whether it was originally always that way, I don't know. There you go. Now, the loco section or steam loco section also has a shape of things to come um, element, uh, phases three and four. Now, again, you've got the block grey without a number, and you've got um, uh, the little patch down here, which is just text. So I'm assuming that's three, and the text bit is four. Okay, and so we can see here that, um, you know, we're looking at some 9Fs and some castle classes. Now, both of those locos will be fantastic, it's particularly that 9F chassis. <laughs> That's going to be something quite fantastic um, with, you know, five, five running wheels. Um, that's got to be able to pull a decent sized train, isn't it? Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, and again, I'm assuming that that's what we're going to hear in April as the, that's the 2024 range. Mm -hmm. These join the 2024 range ready for pre-order. Um, when they'll actually be available, who knows? But then going back down to the, uh, the phase four, we've got a BR Britannica down here, an LMS BR Black 5, a J94, the Great Western Stroke BR um, Pannier tank. And it says much, much more. Oh, it doesn't actually, it says much more. Um, maybe that's just stuff that we've been trying to push them, so they're leaving that open. Who knows? Um, but if that lot appear, if they decide to pull something forward, into phase three from this group, then I think chapeau to them, hats off to them. Uh, and I think we'll all be, whether it's a Ginty or whether it's a Pannier, um, and uh, if they bring it out in a BR, it's gonna please most people. Um, um, but obviously your Brunel gang are gonna want a green one. 
and uh, and the L and the LNER mob what we're going to want a, a, a green ginty as well. Right, so diesels. Now this is quite interesting because although so far we've only had the 08s, and we, but we've seen that the 50s and the 66s are imminent. Well, we've seen the colour of the 50s rolling around last November, so we know they're imminent. And we also know the 43s are imminent. This has got to be happening in the next few months. Okay. They've got to be, and maybe they will all be available come April so that they make it a big thing. There's new stuff that's available and new stuff to pre-order. Uh, so it's all very exciting. Let's hope that's what's going to be happening. I'm hoping that the LNER um, Class 43 comes in as well. Um, it'd be fantastic. Now, but something that, that slipped out through the cracks via Gauge Masters um, website is the fact that there's one of the new things that hasn't been listed in the uh let's go forward to the the shame of things to come what's not listed here is another class <laughs> sorry, another class 08 they've not they've not mentioned that they've no one said anything about it but they've been such I wouldn't say backlash but there's been so many people emailing just badgering hornby saying why didn't you do a green one? Why didn't you do a green one? Why didn't you do a green one? So now we know because of Gage Master, I don't know if they got in trouble for this, who cares, that there's a T, there's one that's been given a number, right? Goes back to that phase three, phase three thing, at TT3028, um, era five, class 08 in BR green. Now there's, th this one here is the Backman, it's the same number, okay, so, this is what it should hopefully look like i wonder whether it was ever in black i don't know but in green with the old br logo it's perfect era five is just what everyone wants um i'm assuming that we're still kind of in in phase two though so maybe that is maybe that's joining phase two or will it be phase three who really cares about the phases? They don't make any sense. Aha! Right, so, but um, the shape of things to come for the diesels and diesel and electric uh, releases, phase three and phase four, again, we have those blocks of grey. So we've got some class 31s, 37s, 60s and 47s, all in what I'm assuming will have codes and will be able to pre-order come April. Um, which one of those comes first? Who knows? Um, uh, I think there'll be a lot of people clamoring for a 37 to come first out of those, but who knows? Who knows? Um, whatever turns up, I'll be having one if I can afford it. Uh, now, phase four, the class 67, also the Atachi class 800. Now, they will look good in, I'm sure, don't they do the 800 in both the Virgin and also... And then they are. So they're going to look fantastic. Um, uh, and also a class 73. So we'll hopefully we'll find out more about those in April. But I mean, if you consider the fact that, that, that within a very, very short period of time, we've got 08s, right? we've got 50s, we've got 66s, we've got 43s, 31s, 37s, 60s, uh, 47s. Right? Uh, and we know that we've got 67, 873 coming in maybe a year or two's time. I mean, it's bloody great, isn't it? Sorry, I can't say, you shouldn't, shouldn't say uh, on YouTube. Um, now, going back to um, next step is the coaches. Now, coaches, um, I'm going to go briefly on the coaches because really I want to talk about Lagos Man Leagues, what everyone gets excited about. I am confused by by the the era they've put on the Mark II E's and the Mark II F's. And one of them has certainly got ERA 8 in here and ERA 7 on the website, or the other way around, I can't remember which it is. But I thought all the blues, I thought both the Mark II E and the Mark II F blue intercities would have been ERA 7. But in here they have an ERA 7 and ERA 8. I thought they were both ERA 7. Um, it was just a different mark of coach. So you've got different stuff hanging underneath them. And I thought that the intercities 
with the red stripe and the white um, were both era eight. But they've got one of these zero seven in here. Whereas on the website, I'm sure that one's era eight. But that doesn't make sense to me. I thought, and anyway, didn't I thought the I thought the E's and the F's were all era seven, apart from a few that got painted up in intercity colours, and they were they were around in era eight. I might be wrong on this. Whatever they are, I'm not sticking them behind my class forty three. So another thing that's a little bit frustrating is why some of those are more available before the aerodynamic Mark threes. Or maybe that's a, uh, a mistake on the website. Who knows? There are mistakes on the website. For example, um, going back very quickly, one of the 66s, I'm sure it's one of the 66s. I'm going to refresh my memory. One of the 66s, and I, um, I'm, I think it might even be, um, it might be Evening Star. I don't know. I, I will go back and look, and then I'll put a picture of the, what, whether it's a fifty or a sixty-six. One of the one of these diesel locos, it still has like spring twenty-five on it, whereas the rest of the range are like summer twenty-four. So I think that's a mistake. Why would you have one of them almost a year later? I don't know. Maybe it isn't a mistake. We have the same deal when it comes to the wagons. Uh, and the coaches about whether or not we're going to have um, a the oh. this is the this is where it changes again okay because now we've still got the shape of things to come TT120 phase three and four coach releases but these are all named there's no little patch of grey at the bottom so maybe some of these are era four because right? it says for era four not era four uh, phase four so which ones are the phase four ones out of those? Um, or maybe they just cut and paste that and we shouldn't have put four in there. Or who knows? Because um, apart from the collets, um, we've seen the Gresleys um, over a year ago in Scotland. So they really, the our Gresleys, they should be available pretty soon, shouldn't they? Or certainly this summer maybe. Or maybe not, maybe 2025. Maybe I'm getting, getting just too excited like everybody else. Load of great wagons coming through. Again, it says area three and four and doesn't actually doesn't actually separate which is which. Because then we go to the track, we go back to the phrase phase two and three with a set of greys, which is for the quarter radiuses um, and the Y point. The long straight, that's already been given a number. And I think that's already, in some places, you can actually already pre-order the long straight, I believe. Um, so, again, things are changing all the time, and it's hard to get actually everything in the print exactly with what's happening out there in the real world. I'm guessing when it comes to buildings, the Great Western Railway stuff is going to be lapped up. But what frustrates me a little bit is, as an LNER, um, uh, modeler and I know you're going to get the violin out and and all cry for me but why don't we have any any and why do we not have any LNER buildings why are there LMS and the next batch Great Western you don't even have any of those locos out yet doesn't make any sense to me but maybe with the fact that we've got loads of locos I should stop blubbing and get on with it well that's about it really guys um um i really don't know you know all i suppose i'm trying to say is we have all these conversations about what what we think may or may not be coming but we've already been told by hornby what's coming um likely over the next two years um they will probably change i'm hoping there'll be a new paper catalog that comes out in april um because i love these i loved collecting these as a kid you know? I've even got two. I've got one that I've written on with my ticks. And I've got one that's immaculate. <laughs> because I can. Uh, anyway, uh, enough rambling on. Um, I'd just like to say, um, I'll put some links in description below, uh, some uh, uh, affiliate links, so that you can, to, to these products, 
um, it helps the channel. It'll help me get um, more stuff and more content. Um, it won't make me a millionaire. Uh, but anybody who wants to buy their things through those affiliate links, much appreciated. I know some of them you do regularly. Like small amounts come through. It's perfect. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, so <clears throat> all there is left to now to say is uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, it's free. Okay. There's a little bell there for you to ring for the uh, to tell you uh, when the next video is coming out. Uh, and there's a couple of videos up here, here, if Jimmy should be putting up um, for your delectation. Right. Um, take care. Hopefully things will warm up soon so glue and paint can go off. Uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.